So let's talk about the idea of certified translation. Uh, all too often we get requests from customers uh, for certified translation. The thing to understand there is that there really isn't a certified translation. Really what you have to ask is um, what level of security do I need uh, to create this translation? You know, perhaps there's a regulating body, if it's the FDA or um, SEC or someone who wants a certain level of security on your translation. You, you want to basically match the requirements to what you need from the language service provider and tell them about that. So what are some of the things that that could be? Um, there might be a, a standard operating procedure for your company that says that all translations must be uh, requested from an ISO 17100 registered firm. Fine, then you go out and you find a firm that has that registration. Or it might be an ISO 9001 registered firm. Uh, the other thing that it might be is if it's for a legal purpose, for legal purposes, what might be required is a translation with a sworn statement by the translator that it's a true and accurate version or translation of the original, and then that sworn statement has to be notarized. That in, our, in the industry is what's considered a certified translation, but there is really not something that the, the, a certifying body that says this translator is certified to create this, this translation. That really doesn't exist. There are uh, court approved interpreters, but that's a whole other topic. So if we're specifically talking about translation, just make sure that you match up the requirements to what the language service provider can uh, give you with each project.